on this final day of October for our Halloween. A couple of spotty showers out there as well, but they'll be dissipating over the next hour or two. Our high temperature today, 71 degrees, 65 was our low this morning. Just one one hundredth of an inch of rain, 59 hundredths of an inch of rain, our monthly precipitation total. Doesn't look like we're going to add much more to that, just the chance of a leftover shower. Wind still on the gusty side out of the south and southwest, 30 to 40 miles per hour across our area. It stays breezy this evening, but the wind speeds will diminish by late tonight. 72 now in Finley, 70 degrees in Kenton. It's 67 to the southwest in Salina. Tracking some light showers moving across our area. The activity pretty much along I-75, but any showers will be exiting again by, say, 7, 730 at the latest. After that, just mostly cloudy, breezy, and turning cooler. Later tonight, temperatures fall back into the lower 40s, so much colder late tonight compared to last night's weather. That cold front is moving in from the north and west. It'll cross our area over the next few hours. Cooler temperatures for tomorrow, temperatures closer to seasonal average, but considering how warm it's been lately, it will be a noticeable change. Our skycast later this evening, 10 p.m., most of the precipitation done with, just some lingering clouds. Partly cloudy, still breezy late tonight, but the breeze will be less of a factor. Tomorrow, a mix of sunshine and cloud cover with seasonably cool temperatures. It does turn cold for a time tomorrow night under mostly clear skies. A mix of sun and clouds back into the forecast for Saturday. Another frontal boundary begins to approach on Sunday with that showers a possibility, especially in the afternoon and evening. We'll hold on to the risk for scattered showers for our Monday. Even into Tuesday of next week, more rain, a possibility. This weekend, we set those clocks back one hour in observance of that switch back to standard time. And this happens on Saturday night. It does look as though uh, it's going to be feeling a little bit more fall-like for the weekend, at least compared to recent days. Temperatures over the next few hours falling back through the 60s. By 9 p.m., we're going to be down to 62 in Delphus and in Paulding. We'll be down to 60 degrees. Late tonight, we fall back into the lower 40s. Again, quite chilly compared to last night's weather, but back into the upper 50s for highs tomorrow afternoon. At 3 p.m., 55 degrees in Paulding, 53 back to the west in Van Wert. Down into the 30s for tomorrow night. On our Saturday, with a mix of sun and clouds, we're right back into the lower 60s. So cooler, but still not bad for this time of year. For tonight, an early shower for the next hour or two. Otherwise, it turns colder with a breeze, 41 by daybreak. Sunshine and clouds mixed tomorrow, seasonably cool, our high temperature at 57. Seven-day storm authority forecast for our Saturday, partly sunny, lower 60s. On Sunday, those showers likely in the afternoon and evening. A period of showers, perhaps from Monday and Tuesday with another frontal boundary. After that, a little cooler, but still for November, kind of a bargain. 64 degrees Wednesday, 61 our high next Thursday. Jim.